I've got a pallet today with five very large boxes on it. The total MSRP, these were five boxes on this one pallet. Pretty good sized pallet, so this might take a little bit of time to go through. Total MSRP, $1,569. I only paid $110, that's all I paid. That is everything. That is the price, 10% buyer's premium, sales tax. I don't pay shipping costs because I buy locally and I pick up in person just right down the road. So avoid paying shipping costs at all possible because shipping pretty much eats up most of the profit half the time. I'm kind of guessing that this is probably going to be more of like a hodgepodge palette because everybody knows like, you know, I'm kind of like the king of hodgepodge palettes. So that's kind of like really what I'm expecting of these five is just, it's just going to be a hodgepodge palette. Everything with uh, some electronics, some pets, some clothes, some bedding, some home goods, some everything. So, yeah. Let's get into this. I'll quit rambling. Let's see what is in these five boxes. So, everything in these boxes came from Amazon. And this is titled Customer Returns. But everybody knows, just because it says Customer Returns doesn't mean everything has been returned. Some items will be just factory warehouse damage. Some will be brand new factory sealed still. And um, some will be salvage. Some will be trash. But here we go. Everything will be sold on the normal selling platforms. And first item, a toaster. Got our home goods. We got our kitchenware. We got our toaster. Elite Cuisine Toaster. Four slice capacity. It's a good seller right there. It's a good item to start with, you know? I paid 110 bucks for all five boxes right there. That's a good 15, 20 bucks, just right there. You know, that's a good, probably close to 20% of what I paid. Then next, loose packaging. Oh, that's that's still all that's still all factory package, though. It's just not tight packaging. We've got a vat groom for dogs and cats. It's just a, yeah, for dogs and cats, easy to clean grooming tool. Pretty decent. A little bit of money right there. Then we have Graston Technique. It's still in the factory bag. Is it sealed? Yeah, it's still factory sealed bag. Has not been opened up yet, so I don't want to open it up and break the seal. But I'm not too sure what this is. But it's called Graston G R A S T O N Technique. Graston Roll Up Something Instrument Set. They've kind of have it covered up. So I have to do a little bit of research on this. See if I find out how much this thing sells for, because I really don't know. Brand new though. Oh, cool. Yeah, so far this has turned into a hodgepodge. Brand new. This is what I mean by Amazon warehouse damage. It's brand new. It is still factory sealed. Brand new, but it got package damaged in, in the warehouse. So Amazon, they, they just liquidate it because they won't sell this to a customer once it's been package damaged. But a person like me, pop out the package. I'll put a small little piece of tape here and uh, yeah, I'll sell it locally. Uh, however much damper it sells for now. I'm not even too sure how much damper it sells for. This barcode's actually not covered up so I can look easily or quickly how much this sells for. Brand new damper. -ed. Incandescent lamps. Oh, so it is uh, six, six light bulbs. Just 150 watt light bulbs, six of them. Uh, yeah, box of six light bulbs. As long as they're not broken. Yogi Pace. Yeah, sometimes with hot podge, you gotta be careful what you put your hands into because uh, sometimes it can be used underwear. Sometimes it can be uh, bedroom toys used. You've seen it on this channel before. Oh, these are yoga pants. The tags aren't attached to it, so it's just a pair of yoga pants. Size medium yoga pants. 
I hate selling clothes. I don't. I do not like selling clothes whatsoever. The return rate on clothes is around forty percent. Like that's that's the nationwide return rate on clothes. Clothes are just. Mm. I I I won't sell clothes. A lot of those I find other ways to get rid of them. By and I and I won't sell them. But I get rid of them. Okay, these things are covered with pet hair. No. Covered in pet hair. Next. Mighty Pan. Smart. Dog Potty Training Doorbell. It's been opened up, so I don't even know what this is. I've never seen this. Smart Bell Potty Training Doorbell. Are you serious? So this sells new for $37.99. Obviously, it's open package item. Well, it hasn't been installed yet. There's all like the uh, in installation mounting kit. If it sells new for $38 and it's just open package item, I'll probably a good $25, $30 bucks for doggy training doorbell? Potty training doorbell for a dog? Okay. I didn't know those existed. Coffee pot. One cup. Last item, first box, smart, smart plug. That's not bad. So that's the first box, and there's a very good chance after the first box, I've already got most of my money back. There's there's probably a good chance I'm close to getting my money back. So I'll be back with the next box. Next one. Looks interesting. Okay. First item. Race RS Sport Lighting LED Headlamp Conversion Kit. I have no idea the value of that thing. Looks like it's still factory. Yeah, it's still that's still the factory tape on it. Never been opened up. Amazon Warehouse deals on it, but it's never been opened up though. So it's customer returned, and uh, they just. Liquidated it. I have to research that. Next. Commercial downlight. Hmm. Yeah. None special. There's a picture of it. Ribbon. Brand new. This package is all cut up. Well, the box is empty too, so. I totally missed the trash can. Next, we have a jacket, looks like. Ooh, whenever I get clothes or jackets that are wrapped up this tightly, I don't like really touching it without gloves on, because sometimes people return some pretty nasty used clothes. I mean, I'm talking like they're out in like, you know, like the pig pen for a while. This is a Dickies. The zipper on it, it shows a lot of use. So this looks like some kind of a Dickies. It's probably overalls, I bet. I'm gonna leave this thing sealed for now. And I'll have to open that thing up later and more of a safer, more sanitary environment. Not here in my office. And we've got my multi-purpose sensor. This box is just, this whole palace has been so freaking random. Looks to be new condition too. Yeah, this this is just a straight, just hodgepodge palette. A little bit of everything. No rhyme, no reason, just everything in this palette. These are some of the most fun palettes, though. And last thing in this box. Oh, it is heavily used. I mean, it is heavily used. It looks to be, yeah, it's a uh, little plastic, like, footstool, like a step stool thing. But it is heavily used. So, let me uh, box this up. I'll be back with the third box. Next box. The second box wasn't the best box. 
First one was better than the second box. Wait for that big home run item still. Sometimes they usually have at least like one item that's decent, usually. But sometimes Hodge Hodgepodge pallets don't have that big home run item. Sometimes they just have a whole bunch of like $20 items that start adding up really quick. Oh, we got a sleep mask. 40 blinks the sleep mask. V Man, this is so random. VTech uh, accessory for your phone, for your home phone. That's decent right there. Actually, that's probably about 30 bucks. Decent right there. So this is more of the kind of audio since it goes in your ear and it's more audio, I guess. For uh, general merchandise and audio. Quantity of one. A lotion dispenser. Kind of leaking out a little bit. We'll just, we'll just set that aside. Next. Sure. Whatever that says. Invalid serial number, not for sale. Well, that's not good. So it's invalid serial number. So let's go ahead. Let's just let's just liquidate it then. Oh, it's just a car mount for your cell phone. Those are cheap. Those are a dime a dozen. Here we go. Those vintage nostalgia toasters. Or oh, it's a hot dog, hot dog toaster thing. Those are so gimmicky. So gimmicky. Oh, that that's a toilet seat in there. I'm not touching that. So or there's two in there. Oh, oh no, no, I'm not touching those. So in here, there's two toilet seats. See it here, and then right here. You can see it, right? Yeah. They're wrapped up, they're poly bagged, but I don't touch toiletries, especially return to toilet seats. I don't think so. I'm not touching that. Nope, nope, nope. So here we got a cereal container. Good grips. A lot of times these things are cracked. This one is not cracked. It's still, this thing's good to go. I think it's brand new. That's nice. Um, tight vac. Fresher for longer. Push button in. Makes it tight. What we got here? Oh, this is like, oh, it's a it's a cordless vacuum. Yeah, this works really well on, on hardwood floors, but obviously don't use it on carpet. It won't work. Last thing in this box. Well, that's nice right there. Hot or cold stainless steel mug. The brand is Zojirushi. Try to say that like 14 times really fast. Zojirushi. One touch open. That's nice. Original box. So, yeah, let me, uh, mm, two toilet seats. That's nasty. Mm, no. Mm -mm. I'll be right back with the fourth box. Fourth one. And this thing's a big scale right here. Extra large scale. Goes to 300 and, what, 50 pounds? Cool. Analog precision. Heavy duty, he's got weight to it. Looks like a nice scale. That could be probably 20, 30 bucks right there. Okay, this box doesn't have a whole lot in it. It has lots of big item stuff in this one box. Multi-tier pet fountain. Wonder if my cat would like this. Oh, it's still factory sealed too. It's just, oh, this is a uh, Amazon warehouse damaged item. Somebody put some weight on top of this and crunched the top lid down, if you see here. So it has the factory seal here, factory seal there, factory seal there. Bottom has not been opened up yet. So this is still factory sealed. It's just somebody at the warehouse put weight on top of it and crunched it. So they liquidated it. Cool. Brand new. Multi-tier pet found. Can't beat that. Brand new item. A little bit of box damage. That's it. Here's some jars. Some plastic jars. I guess if you need a little jar to make something in, boom, I got you. Oh, here's some more damp red. Another brand new one. Still factory sealed. Just a little bit of warehouse damage. That's all that's all that's wrong with this. 
It got damaged in the Amazon warehouse, so they liquidated it. 100% brand new, factory sealed. Has not been sold to anybody. No LPN label on it, so this has never left Amazon's hands. Straight liquidation. So that's two of the damper heads. Brand new. Vacuum attachments. Let's see. Clinicalguard.com. Oximeter. Measures your pulse rate. It's like half out of the package, it looks like. So you just wear this and it measures your pulse rate. So it's out of the package. Looks like it's an off brand. Looks like it's just like a third party seller item. A little, little, little something probably kind of cheapy, I bet. Not too expensive. Intermatic in wall timer. Yeah, that's a customer return there. Box kind of kind of a little bit beat up, a little bit taped up. And we got a brush. Yeah, a natural. This is, is a natural bore brush. Is it used? It's always nasty. Oh yeah, yeah. This. Oh yeah. This. This is heavily used. There's all kinds of hair and dandruff up in this brush. Did I move my trash can? Because usually it's straight back. Oh, and I kicked my light. There. Usually it's straight back to my trash can. I've missed it twice now. I must have moved it. But uh, yeah, next. Oh, I've got this before. Flower fountain. Yeah, this is for pets. A flower fountain. Just another like a pet feeder thing. Water, water feeder thing. And last thing, this looks like puppy pads. Yeah. Box of 100 pet training and puppy pads. Yeah, these things sell very, very fast. But they don't, like on Amazon, these sell like 15, 15 bucks, 18 bucks. But locally, whenever I sell these things, I usually sell them for about half price, a little bit more, usually like eight bucks a box. And sell them, sell them that way locally. Because that box weighs a lot. And Amazon sells theirs. I think theirs is like 15 or 18 dollars shipped. That could be the 75 pack though. I don't remember, but um, yeah. Anyway, got one box left. That's through the first four. Let's get the last one. Maybe the last one will just be like a home run. Number five. So, let me know below your thoughts on this. Comment down below. Then we've got a long lasting flapper for your toilet. <laughs> awesome. What is this? Here we've got some um, fake flowers with a solar powered and there's little lights in the flower so that the flowers will light up. Wow, really? Okay, that's cool. The next, Cyborg Lanterns. Brand is Blitzu, Cyborg Lanterns. Two in the package, I've never seen these. Magnetic bases, easy to use. Indoor, outdoor, long battery life. Rubber leg tips. Literally, it's rubber leg tips. Oh, keep that in the package just in case. That looks like a used towel. A pretty used towel. Keep that in there. Here is an electric kettle. Those are nice. Those I sell for like eight, 10 bucks. They sell pretty quickly. People like buying those. There's some sparkly tape. That tape is all deformed though. It got it got crunched during uh, storage. But I'll keep it. I can use that tape. It's sparkly. Then a Switch Nightlight, Radiant brand. Looks like it's uh, brand new. Just the packaging is a little bit damaged on it. There's the, you can still install it. The screw is there. That's nice. Then just, just a... Oh, this goes into the bathtub so that you can put your bathtub toys in it. That's cool. 
neck. Oh, here we go. Indoor outdoor speaker system. It says suggested retail price two forty nine for the pair. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Manufactured unilateral pricing policy strictly enforced. No company actually puts that on their packaging. Acoustic Audio Direct. Nah, I'm guessing this is probably more like 25 bucks a speaker. Probably 50 bucks for the pair. These are probably, honestly, I, I've, I've sold so many speakers. By the size of these things, the wattage, honestly, it's probably like 50 bucks. But if I'm wrong, I will update below. But I bet you it's probably about 50 bucks. Not much more than that. Little container. Mr. Oh, this thing is all taken apart. So we have a uh, solar powered uh, light. It goes on your house, but it's it's uh, it's taken apart. It's probably not going to work. Insect repellent. Premium treats eight garments. Odorless trigger spray. Good stuff right there. Yeah, it's pretty full still. Then we've got an entire, what was it? 10 pack of 13 watt, watt like specialty bulbs. Yeah, that's like a specialty item. Try to sell it. Got some more clothes. Of course we got more clothes. Hate selling clothes. This is a Gildan youth size uh, small t-shirt. Let's just open it up, why not? It doesn't look used. Still has the tags attached to it. Actually, there's two in here. Oh, it's like a two-pack long sleeve t-shirt. Gildan. Okay. It's, it's by, actually, it's probably originally a three-pack, but there's only two got returned. And uh, here's the last item. We got a coffee pot. 12-cup coffee pot. Brand is Mixpresso. Never heard of that brand. <laughs> Never heard of it. So that's what we got. That is the five box. I got this pallet cheap enough. I'll be able to make money on it. No, no matter what, it won't. It won't be huge profit. Like this is. It, this is not going to be like a thousand dollar pallet for me. Uh, the retail on this was like close to sixteen hundred. I won't get anywhere near sixteen hundred. I'll be lucky, lucky to get half of that. I'm thinking it's probably more like six hundred, maybe as high as six. That could be high though, but man, it's still going to be profitable. I'm still going to make money. But this is the liquidation game. Sometimes uh, you you get these pallets cheap, like $100 cheap, and it's worth the gamble because this is a lot of product right here. This is a lot of product. Even if I sell these things for like on an average of like, let's say three bucks a piece ish, I'm still making double my money back. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of these things, you know, I can sell for about five bucks. You know what I'm saying? Or. 50 bucks so yeah it's, it's still crazy profitable i'll see you next time i've got videos coming up every day this week sometimes twice a day so be on the lookout for that if you see one video there might be one more video coming up right after that within a couple hours so don't miss out i'll see you next time i'm out <laughs>